Jiho Park, the foil character to the MC of Lucasum, Daniel Park. Jiho was introduced as the complete mirror to Daniel Park. Well, you know, the little one and the big one, I guess. But yeah. So Jiho was the complete, like, bottom of the food chain and he was always the one getting picked on. Jiho was able to find a friend in Daniel Park and also was able to befriend the likes of Zach Lee and Duke after um, he met with Daniel. Jiho was a really relatable character to the variety of the look as an audience. Jiho was pretty like, he was a fan favourite, but then he became a really envious character, always being jealous of those who deemed, to those who he deemed were superior to him. This is because they either had money like Jay Hong, they were strong like Vasco, or just popular like Daniel Park. Jiho was really envious of these people and he would usually cling on to these types of people and this um, developed an ego for him. This made him believe that he was someone that he wasn't. Jiho Park was a really likeable character at first but he got a bit too confident during the trip arc where he would try to push his superiority onto people from other schools using big names of Jay High like Zach Lee and Daniel Park and everything just to boost his confidence. Jiho would have an amazing character but due to like his envious nature and like his ego he would have found himself making a lot of mistakes and that really put him into bad situations and even led him into you know well his ending <clears throat> sorry guys i'm a bit sick right now so please do mind my voice but yeah Often due to making bad friends, trusting Jake Kim during the illegal Toto, is that is that a name? Whatever, it was um, trusting Jake Kim and getting scammed anyways uh, due to the betting stuff. He got saved by the Jihai trio, not trio, but the whole group. But yeah, seems Jiho never learned though, because he trusted another bad influence under the name of James Gong. James Gong would eventually put Jiho in a bad position. However, Zach came into the day and you know saved the day. After that, James yet again pulled another antic, this time answering to the likes of Daniel Park. Jiho, thinking himself to be inferior and always being the one to mess up, in a rage state pushed both Daniel and James off the building they were in. Now this led to a really catastrophic event bro. So this led to Big Daniel and James both being put in comas. Now honestly, Jiho, you fucked up on that one, bro. I don't know what this guy was thinking. This guy was a dumbass for that. But yeah, we'll see his downfall from here. Little Park, Little Park, Little Daniel and Jiho Park would get major character de 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 <laughs> development arcs, making them both change drastically. Little Daniel became more humble and mature and also be able to fight for the good and also would be able to have the confidence to stick up for himself. Not only this, but also for the around, blah, blah, for others around him, as he would in the big Daniel body. Jiho Park, however, he became more sadistic in his mental health. This would deteriorate and as he fell in juvie and learned how to fight dirty, he became stronger just like little Daniel. But the thing is, he became stronger to speak up for himself, not for defense, but so he can terrorize everyone else. He wanted to give them fear. This gave him a false idea that he had to take out everyone by himself and everyone was against him. So he had to take them down by all means necessary to prove he wasn't a bug. This would eventually lead to his downfall, but what if he never died? What if instead he became a final villain? Well, we're going to find out here. <clears throat> So just for disclosure guys, I want you all to know that in this timeline, Jiho is going to have major advantages over everyone. So yeah. So we start over with So we start this timeline with Jiho defeating Daniel Park and the Ansan public defeating Zack and Vasco. Jiho trying to make the crew stronger asked for anyone in mind who can help them. With Hudson Nan replying that Jiho likes a fight just like someone he's in contact with. Hudson makes a call to the person he's in contact with and Jiho talks on the phone with him. He's replied with a yo by someone who doesn't really sound serious at all and the person asks Jiho what he wants. Jiho replying with that he'll pay him however much he wants just to help him unify the four major crews. But is met with laughter and the voice asking if he's serious. Jiho stating that he's already 
unified much of Central CO and Gang Book. Later, as Ji Ho goes on to meet the man behind the phone, he sees a blonde guy taking a piss in the alleyway. Ji Ho tells him to move out his way, and the frustrated blondie turns around and we see it's Gu Kim. Gu slaps Ji Ho, but to his surprise, he's left with a cut in his palm. Looking at Ji Ho, he sees him with a pin in his hand. Gu looks to him and says, Are you the one who unified the four major? Shit, not the four major crews. Are you the one who is unifying the four major crews? <coughs> to which Jiho says, <coughs> Sorry, guys, you know, I'm, I'm sick. But yeah. To which Jiho says, Yes. The impressed Gu Kim asks Jiho if he wants to be secret friends. To which Jiho agrees with, Yes. And thus Jiho becomes trained by Gu Kim. We skip over the workers' first affiliate. Um, no, we skip over to the workers' first affiliate arc where Jiho and Logan Lee are. As you guys know, Jiho and Logan Lee, they're pretty much allies at this point because, you know, secret friends. So, yeah. The two encounter Daniel Park and seeing how they both hate Daniel, they attack him. Daniel holds his own off against Logan Lee and defeats him. However, Jiho comes in and from nowhere, he leans in uh, for a punch. Uh, but after the punch lands, he gouges Daniel Park's eyes. Remember, Jiho is really like he's he's really he's a really dirty fighter. So yeah, the more stunned, like blinded Daniel Park, not being able to see properly, is now haunted by the person who defeated him before. His exact opposite, Jiho Park, is now way stronger. The two fight with Jiho getting dirtier and dirtier. Being able to counter every of Daniel's attacks, like the cho uh, the chops that he copied from Ji Chang, by grabbing Daniel's wrist and de dislocating his joints, he's able to counter the chops. This Daniel isn't the perfect body and is being completely destroyed by Jiho, eventually being defeated. However, something strange happens. Daniel Park passes out, but is still fighting like he's being possessed. He fights like a machine and Jiho gets pushed. He was warned by his teacher Gu about this. A frustrated Jiho is being pushed back by the person he sought to kill. All this pressure gave a huge burn in his chest and he starts laughing hysterically. What will happen next? I don't know man. UI Daniel vs Heat Mode Jiho Park. Who wins? As the video is going to get longer, um, if I continue, I've decided to end the video here. But if you guys want a part two, then I'll make it happen, guys. Just tell me. But yeah, anyways, uh, see you guys.